Yo, what's up, uh, this is LAB, and I'm just going to basically do a tutorial showing you guys how to mimic or how to duplicate the bass line in a sample, and just give it more of a, a current feel, more of a, a popish feel to it, you know, if you see Drake do this a lot with uh, some of his 90 samples where he changes the bass line, he doesn't actually change the rhythm, but he changes the sound to give it more of a current sound and more of a fuller sound. I guess it's more trappish. But um, I'm going to show you guys how I do it, my technique I use, and hopefully, you know, you can step your game up. You know, so let's get into it. By the way, this is my SoundCloud. Uh, check me out. This is uh, Lab Music One on SoundCloud. Got a lot of dope beats in there. And if you are looking to, you know, do some work, hit me up. But let's jump right into it. So I basically took that sample and uh, I chopped it up. Uh, I figured out the BPM and uh, I want to take that bass line. So the first thing I want to do is um, I want to open up a plugin called Newtune. Um, I already kind of had that in the mixer, uh, but I'm just going to go to the master channel and open up Newtune. And this is an auto pitch correction plugin and it's used for the vocals uh, typically, but I find it very useful to find the keys of uh, certain notes inside of a sample. And, excuse me, um, typically you probably wouldn't need to do this for this particular sample because it's pretty straightforward what the bass line is. Um, let's just listen to it one more time. It's a pluck bass, and it sounds like it's the same same key. Okay. Just to give you guys an idea um, of something that would probably require a little more uh, work, this is the second half. Let me just move this out of the way. Um, this is the second half of the sample, and if you listen, the bass line have it has more of a riff more of a freestyle to it. Um, it's hitting different notes. So let's just listen to it. Okay, now imagine if you had an 808 doing that instead of the pluck bass. That's what we're gonna do. But for the time, for the um, sake of uh, making the tutorial smaller, um, we're going to just focus on the first half of the beat. I'm going to show you the technique. Let me see. Let me just change that. So we got New Town open. New Tone, sorry. Fuck, I'm like I'm trying to name a boy band. Um, the first thing you want to do once you open it up is you want to detach. So it stays up even when you're going into other things. And um, now that we have that open, um, we're going to just throw the sample in there. Shut up! Okay, now that we have that in there, um, let's see, we're going to, we have to find the bass now. I'm sorry. Um, I want to put bass in that sequencer. Uh, let's just move that for right now. Actually, get all that out the way it's distracting um i like to go to eight bars some people like to do 16 off the break um me myself i like to start off with eight um actually let's move this out the way all together for right now i'm going to look for a bass now an 808 um like i said i want to change that plug bass into an 808 now i recently downloaded a, a dope sound pack um with some nice 808s um, and I've been looking for an opportunity to use a couple so um, let's listen to it. Um, one of the things I like to do, and 
you can find this on YouTube somewhere is to uh, detect the pitch of the 808 just so we're being the right key when we're actually uh, plugging in the different notes in the piano roll um, just follow along what I'm doing um, shout out to busy work beats he actually showed this to me so we're in G flat so we good so I already did the cut uh, I think this is G flat right here if I'm not mistaken yeah okay so uh, 808 is in the right pitch um yeah let's go back to new tune and see exactly the low one would be towards the bottom see it was in G or G flat that's so let's listen to it in new tune. Oh, that's the second half. So, pretty straightforward. We can close new tune for right now. Because we know it's, it's simply in G. Or maybe G flat. Hold on, let's let me let me open this back up. One other thing that I want to point out when you're looking at uh, your actual tune, your, your I mean I guess your actual keys, is you see how this kind of extends up to the G flat. Now, generally it'll be G, typically, but it could possibly be G flat or it could actually be, uh, I think this is F flat, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I would lean more to the G flat, but we'll play around with the bass. Um, let me see, let's close this out. Um, let's go to the sequencer. Uh, let's send it to the piano roll. And remember, we said G. So we're going to start right there with it. Sequencer right there. Okay. Let's listen to it. That's with it. That's without it. Now you can do this with almost any 808. Um, some works better than others, um, but let's just continue to, to to track out this 808. said when we were in the new tune it could possibly be G flat now the second one sounds a little off let's listen to it again you hear that okay let me just turn this up just a little bit Since we know the loop is, is correct, we can just simply just duplicate it. Um, now, now that we have uh, the 808 um, copy, you're essentially done here. Um, it's not going to clash. As long as you keep these 808s there, right there, the beat is not going to clash. The, 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 the different low ends are not going to mess up, even if you choose to go in a different key. Let me show you what I mean. Now, G 
just by looking at this and, and my style, how I, I like to produce, um, I'm going to do something a little funky with the second uh, bass. And I'm going to basically... Um, Let's see what this sounds like. As you can see, once I have the bass copied and is, is, is right on tune with the original pluck, it's up to your creativity at that point. Whatever you want to do with it is on you. But this principle can be done with a more complex bass sound, and I would suggest you use it if you don't know how to mimic keys by ear when you're playing the keyboard or you're using your MIDI. So, once again, Let's just listen to it without the bass and let's listen to it with the bass. like what you saw, you, if you got any questions and you saw something that you don't know, what I did, leave it in the comment section, man, let me know what's up, and uh, we're going to keep it moving like that, alright, LAB, man, check me out, let me let that ride out, I always wanted to say that too, let that ride out.